complete combustion of hexane. Hexane is C6H14. We're going to begin with it since it's the thing that we're burning here. I think it's a liquid at room temperature. Combustion involves burning it in air, which supplies it with oxygen gas. That's why you smother a flame in carbon dioxide to choke off its oxygen source. If you're trying to put it out, of course. What do you get when you burn it in oxygen? You get the common oxides of carbon and hydrogen. Carbon gives you carbon dioxide, and hydrogen gives you hydrogen oxide, which is the fancy word for water. Now you're gonna get gas phase water because normally when you burn something, it gets hot, right? This is your unbalanced reaction for the complete combustion. Complete means you have enough oxygen so you don't make carbon monoxide or soot or smoke or anything. Let's balance this together. Six carbons, I need six carbons here. 14 hydrogens, I need 14 over here, but they're already in pairs, so I only need seven pairs. Now my oxygens, I have 12 here, six times two is 12, and an extra seven, that's 19 oxygens on the right. Now they're already in pairs, so I have two options. Option one is to just say, well, 19 divided by two is 9.5, so I need nine and a half pairs of that. But your teacher might not be a fan of the fraction. In that case, you need to double everything. Two of those molecules will have, give me uh, 12 carbons, which is why that doubles to 12. That's 28 hydrogens, that's why that doubles to 14. And that gives me 24 and 14 is 38 oxygens on the right. In pairs, that gives me 19 pairs. Cool. Two of those, 19 of those, 12 of those, 14 of those are the whole number coefficients. But hey, if your teacher lets you use fractions, why not, right? Complete combustion is reacting it with oxygen to make carbon dioxide and water. You don't make extra stuff like carbon monoxide and soot because it's complete. You're going to oxidize carbon and hydrogen as much as possible. And here you go. Dunzo. Best of luck.